What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex. In this video, I want to talk about Scream 5 and how it seems like Nev Campbell will return for it. Now, I know this is probably very different for anybody that's been watching this channel uh, since the beginning or even over the last uh, couple months. We normally, and anyway, I primarily talk about games, but Podcast Now in general has always been a thing where we talk about games and movies and also TV shows uh, that interest me. And Podcast Now Plus being an extension of that, I felt like this was something that'd be kind of cool to do. Also, with movies eventually set, you know, to start picking up again. Uh, movies are something that I do want to cover more on this channel and on podcasts now. So this is definitely, uh, it, it definitely is a test to see if people like this. And Scream 5 and Scream in general is a very important movie franchise to me. It's my favorite horror franchise of all time. I think it's an incredibly smart. I think it's incredibly well done just in, honestly in every single regard. Obviously, different Screams have had different problems for sure. Um, but this is, the, this is my favorite uh, horror film franchise. So I felt like this is something I wanted to do. Uh, we've talked about Scream 5 actually before on podcast. Now, you know, Scream 5 has officially been greenlit. They have the directors for them. I believe it's going to be two of them. Uh, and the question from the very beginning was, do you bring back the original cast or do you reboot it, right? It's kind of the thing with all movies nowadays. We talk a lot about Pirates of the Caribbean um, on podcast. Now, same kind of thing there, right? Do you bring Johnny Depp back? Do you do a female spinoff movie? Seems like, honestly, they were doing both of them. Uh, so same thing with this movie, right? Do you do, do you bring Nev Campbell back? Do you bring everybody back? Or do you go their own way and I've talked about how I think it absolutely needs to have specifically Nev Campbell I, I mean obviously the rest of the cast needs to come back as well but she is uh, for all intents and purposes she is Scream now whether or not this will be the last one and maybe they because you know for Scream 4 they did introduce you know new characters to try to basically take the films away from her in the future not in a, you know in a malicious way but like hey you know she's getting older and the cast is getting older and Scream if we wanted to continue for, you know, going forward, it can't rest on a single person, which I do agree. I've said that for Pirates of the Caribbean. I say that for a lot of movies that you really don't want to build a film franchise based off of one character. Now, technically, you could argue that Ghostface is that one character in Scream, that as long as there's somebody portraying Ghostface, it is Scream. It's not necessarily Nev Campbell. I just feel like her story isn't told fully yet, or that it's not finished yet, and I think that she still has some power there, uh, in, in not maybe necessarily in the whole film industry, right, but in uh, specifically for Scream, I think it's very, very important that you need to bring her back. So that leads us up to now. Now, a few days ago, Nev Campbell did an interview where she said, yeah, she's talking about it. So let's go over uh, the quote that she gave. We're having conversations. I have been approached about it. The timing is a bit challenging because of blank. I don't say it because YouTube. Uh, you know, we only started the conversation maybe a month and a half ago. So it's going to take some time to figure how, out how it's all going to work. Uh, we're negotiating, so we'll see. The two directors wrote me a very touching letter about West Craven and how he was such an inspiration to them and how they really want to honor him and that meant a great great deal to me so we'll see hopefully we can all see eye to eye on the project and find a way to make it I'm very grateful for these films I love Sidney Prescott I'm always fun it's always fun uh, for me to step back in her shoes and it's always fun for me to see the cast come back and make some of these films again and try and make another good one so remember back when this film was first confirmed to happen Nev Campbell said she she was never asked nobody asked her uh, if she wanted to come back or you know and if they were writing this film was the premise again was it going to include her was it going to be a completely new thing she was completely left in the dark and that led a lot of us to say oh shoot like would they really would they really do this where they would just do a brand new thing i think it would have made like it wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world if they rebooted it right from the ground up again i think maybe just because of wes craven himself right now that he's no longer around um and you know he was the, obviously the, the thing that made Scream I, you could even say that right Ghostface as long as he's around Scream is Scream you could argue if Wes Craven obviously him not being here anymore um, does did he completely make Scream again it seems like the directors literally pitching her that like hey we respect him we, I mean he's, he's amazing right he's an amazing filmmaker uh, and we're going to do him justice uh, by this fifth Scream movie I feel like that I mean that's basically what she said right that seems to have won her over which is great and I is great so and I feel like the whole eye to eye thing that is where it comes to maybe she doesn't want to just be I mean obviously there's there's money negotiations too right there's that whole aspect of it but I feel like it could also be all right well how much do you use her is she because you know she's been part of movies of like bigger even 
a couple of years ago, she was part of Skyscraper with uh, The Rock, right? Now, that movie wasn't very big, but it had The Rock. It had a really big name. Could you say she was like the second you know, biggest star in that movie? I would probably say so. I'd say besides The Rock. Uh, she's in, But again, she's not the biggest you know, uh, star in the world, especially at her age now, right? So the, I guess maybe the question would be, do you focus you know, solely on her? She's the main star. And then you have the cast, which you could argue they did that with Scream 4. I mean, that was back in 2011. She, I feel like she has the same kind of star power now as she did back then, uh, which, again, isn't like outrageously high, but it's not outrageously low. And the film was centered around her, obviously, but you had a lot of other characters to help her out, including, again, like the original cast, like the main cast. And, again, that's what you would do here as well. You'd have to bring everybody back. You'd probably look to bring back like Hayden uh, Panettiere. You'd probably try to bring her back. In fact, she's even kind of hinted that she would return if, uh, you know, if they asked her to. So I feel like you'd probably want to do that. And again, maybe... Hey, if they're if you know if their plan of handing it off to certain characters didn't work in four, which again it kind of seems like that would that probably is is true that maybe they wanted to hand it off and then they, they never were able to. Uh, again, maybe bringing some of them back now that could help the situation out, and maybe they're gonna really really look hard uh, to see who they can really pass this off on uh, for the future. Because again, a film like Scream, you 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 probably want it to continue, right? You don't want it to end. I mean, I guess you know the more movies you make, you could I guess argue like okay, well now. It's it's time to end it. But with any of these horror films, they have staying power. Now, again, Scream is a little bit different because you, you look at, like, the Friday the 13th movies. You look at, like, Nightmare on Elm Street. Look at all them. Like, they're pro they're focused on the villain. It doesn't matter who the human, like, who the people are, right? Like, as long as you have Jason, as long as you have Freddy, as long as, like, name your horror villain, you're fine. Scream is kind of in that in-between because, again, like, yeah, you have Ghostface, but do you need Nev Campbell along too, right? And when is it too, when is it at that point where you need to separate them and say, all right, well, no longer does the cast really solidify and, and matter to the fact that it's a Scream movie. You know what I mean? And maybe that the answer to that is never. Maybe Scream was never really intended to be that way. And honestly, for the, the all the past movies, I guess you could say the TV show tried to do it, right? But some people didn't like the TV. In fact, a lot of people didn't like the TV show. Um, so you could argue, is it built around that cast? Bottom line, though, is it's a question that we don't need to ask ourselves right now, right? It's not something that we need to worry about because it's seen. I, I really do, you know, I honestly would have told you two, three, four months ago that she would be back, that they would try to bring the cast back. I just had a good feeling that they, sh I guess, in my opinion, I thought that they should bring everybody back and try it again with the handing of the torch. I thought that would be the plan. Seems like, from what Nev Campbell said, that that is going to be the plan. So that's great news. Honestly, that is very, very good news. And, and again, the issue of do you keep them past this and what do you do in the future the good news is that's in the future right now nobody's filming right very very few things are filming in select areas of the world nothing is coming out so we have quite a bit of time this movie wouldn't be off the ground running until at least next year in terms of filming and then probably releasing in 2022 so it's not like we're getting this uh, anytime soon there's lots of time uh, to ask these questions and again if you guys like this video you like this kind of stuff I'll definitely again this was a test I will uh, try to do more movie more TV show things um, as the, the you know the days, weeks, and months progress. Uh, and again, that is kind of what podcast now is in general. So let me know, as always, in the comments below, guys. What do you think? Are you excited that Nev Campbell seems to be coming back? That the cast is going to be coming back? What do you think about Scream in general? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. And I do a new video every single day on this channel, so you can always expect a video on the next day. And so I hope to see you guys there.